What's up, yo? Welcome back to the channel, Better Call Saul. Season 4, Episode 9. The penultimate episode of Season 4. We are almost caught up. Yeah. We have two more hours, basically, of Saul before we are there. And wow. holy shit, what an episode. Yeah. That was absolutely insane. Seeing this plan that Kim crafted, which... She only had to craft because Jimmy got her involved in the first place. Yeah. See what he but, does there. But she liked it. She liked it a lot. She wants to do it again. So from the moment that we've met her, would it have ever crossed your mind that she would be the one that would actually break bad? I don't know. Not really. No. No. I mean, it was clear that she had fun in those bar moments with Jimmy. Like, she enjoyed it. I mean, yeah, but when, but, it, when it came to, like, the law. Right. She always took that stuff very serious. Mm -hmm. And the idea that she was, like, so she got involved. She agreed to help, she agreed to help Huel get, get off as best as he can. And she just realized the only way that she's going to be able to get him off is by doing this absolutely insane ridiculously creative, elaborate scheme to set up this entire community of people who love Huel and we love Huel. He's he's this hero and he saved people's lives from this fire he at the saved church. He saved the church. <laughs> and like, it was just so amazing. They even had a donation page like they did in, in Breaking Bad, which was amazing. But I don't... Cell phones. The cell phone, yeah. That was like, the, the amount of organization that had to go into making sure that each number and phone was lined up with the proper letter. Like, I would never know what to... Lawyers. Yeah, that would be nuts. They're lawyers. They're, they're supposed to be super organized and well-detailed. Yeah. Like, that's their job. But this still makes me feel really uncomfortable for Kim. Jimmy's already up in it, and we know where he ends up. Up in it. We don't know what happens to Kim. We don't know and if... She doesn't end up in the other show, so what, from point A to point B, what yeah. happened? We don't know if this just all gets brushed under the rug and it never comes up again, which I highly, highly doubt. And she goes on to just be this great lawyer that just doesn't associate with Jimmy anymore, or she gets busted for a lot of crimes in one scheme or she takes it to another level with the next one because she wants to do it again and, and that ends up getting her into a lot of trouble. I feel like I feel like the Huel case might actually come back to bite her in the ass. I mean if I was that other prosecutor I would be all about it. Yeah, like obviously Huel district attorney. Yeah. yeah, obviously Huel can't be retried or reprosecuted on this whole thing. No sir. But she could do her research. I probably would if I got treated like that, just getting completely punked on a case like this. I'd be like, I'm actually going to, like, can I get two weeks off to whoever my manager or boss is? I'm going to take two weeks. I'm going to I'm gonna go down to Louisiana and, and just hang out. Real fast. I'm I'll be hang right out. back. And do some digging. And, like, again, unless, unless Jimmy was using the address book and having actual legit names of people... None of that stuff's going to exist. They went to those depths to do what they did. I would not actually be surprised at all if he was using real names of people. Oh, my Google, man. Like, just... Yeah, the I power of the internet. All you need is an address book. Like, it's not that hard to find names of people who live in a certain place. But, yeah, I, I, I totally think oh, that... Oh, well, I mean, he did have... He did have, like, names and addresses on that sheet of paper that he was writing from. So, yeah... Wherever he got that from. I mean, seems legit. Yeah. And all you got to do is just go and find the person and be like, did you write this letter? No? Okay. Like, That's weird. I died. No. Yeah. <laughs> this person's not even this alive. This person is dead. So, yeah. I mean, that's crazy. And it's just probably going to lead either her getting caught up on that or her next thing or next thing or next thing. Regardless of how far down the road she goes on this, like yeah. it seems like a really danger, dangerous rabbit hole for her to Karma be kind of falling. Gets you. Yeah, she's bored with the banking stuff, and she found a lot of excitement in the criminal stuff. The storytelling. I, I'm worried for her. I know I shouldn't be, because she's a big girl. She can make her own decisions. She's a phenomenal lawyer, but still, 
She seems like a really good person. You just want her to do well. And yeah. it's like when she's not doing well, you're like, no, stop. Stop exactly. what you're doing and do the right thing. Mm -hmm. And then the introduction of Lalo. Mm -hmm. We did go back and watch the Better Call Saul episode from Breaking Bad. Yeah. That name, you did mention that that name did ring it a bell. It sounded familiar. I'm like, why do I know that name? Yeah. And Jimmy, or at the time, Saul was absolutely, he cleared to be absolutely horrified of this dude. Yeah. He's like, it wasn't Lalo, was it? And like. Ignacio, Lalo. Yeah, like so clearly. Oh, thank God. <laughs> clearly this dude is dangerous and really scary. But, to, and, but Lalo and Nacho's name were mentioned together. Mm -hmm. So it's like. What goes down. What happened? What go, I mean, the way the dude was carrying himself. Like, it was no big deal. Yeah. The dude, like, he was, like, in that, like, one minute scene, like, you could tell the dude was, like, oozing charisma and, like, he's, he's like, super, zero like, fucks. yeah. Zero. He just carried Walked himself. Walked right into that fucking place. Have a seat. Right over here. Yeah. And, and like, went into the kitchen and, like, just cooked, you know, no big deal. And just like, the way, the, fuck? the way he was talking, like, he even, like, basically was like, oh, eat this. You'll die for it. Like... Bitch, like, I'm not eating that. Then. Like, is that a threat? Like, is that a foreshadow? Like, what the fuck, dude? Did you put poison in this? Like, is this poisoned? Is that gonna? Is this dude gonna lead to Nacho's demise? Like, <sighs> but like, why would Saul say, you know, who sent you? Was it Ignacio? Oh my God! Please don't tell me it was Lalo. Was it Lalo? I mean, clearly Jimmy gets caught up with these fools at some point somehow, and does something to. He had to have a reason why he would think that he would get kidnapped by them. <laughs> so it's like, what do you do, Jimmy? What happens? Literally. <laughs> like, holy shit. Like, now that's like, that's a whole nother storyline. We only have two episodes left. So I don't know if it's going to just get teased here and, like, introduced to what the story is. Or if that's going to be the next season or the next season. But this is a whole new character, a whole new potential storyline about what the hell happened. This show is fantastic. The storytelling it. is amazing. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to see how this season wraps up because it has been absolutely fantastic. Do you have any other thoughts before we jump into it? No. It's showtime, folks. Um. The fuck? What? What happened? Excuse me. May I help you? Oh, I really hope so. Is she faking? The firm submitted plans for Mesa Verde Bank. We're building a branch here in Lubbock. Internally, I realized I was missing one of the old versions. I think it's possible the wrong version ended up in our proposal. I think she's faking. If they're wrong, you know you have to refile. Refile. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> I just want to make sure they actually are the wrong ones before I get into it with my bosses. Conference room is on sheet A 1.1. Break or sprain? A sprain. It hasn't been that bad, except I have an eight-month-old. Oh, oh she's faking. I think these are the same. They look the same to me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No refiling. Ah, thank you. My boss has, would have murdered me. I understand. Was that Jimmy? Yo, Lizzie. Phil. Yeah. Where's Aiden? He's fine, but he's very hungry. He's Spill shit all over the thing. Where's Aiden? He's in the Wrangler. You left my right. child in your Jeep? Yeah, I cracked the window. You can't leave a baby in a car. What the hell is wrong with you? <sighs> You're supposed to watch a baby for five minutes. <laughs> oh my god. What happened? Your milk. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 Let's make this official. Oh. 
Slippin' Kim! Oh. Wow. Wow, dude. Dude, she's good at this. She's really fucking good. <laughs> oh, man. ¿Quién tiene los huevos más grandes de todo Michoacán, norte, sur, este y oeste? Huevo. Sabía que seguía ahí adentro. ¿Saben qué estaba pensando esta mañana? En el olor a cuero y pelo de caballo quemado. ¿Se acuerdan? Hotel Tulipán. <risa> Fue tan amable con ese güey. Y él le dio la espalda. Se tomó su tiempo con él. Oh, God. Y su esposa escuchaba en la habitación de al lado. Is he fucking tortured some dude? I mean, he's getting Hector all riled up. Yeah. Regresé ese día. Me metí entre las llamas y el humo. Soy un sentimental. Quería un recuerdo. Se lo traje. The nachos just sitting here. Just like, what the fuck? Is this the bell? This is the fucking bell. This is the bell. What the, the bell. fuck? They freaking like kept zooming in on that finger. It's like, mm, what did you say from a hotel? Dele, una probada, andele. Fuck, dude. And then it was born. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a not annoying at all. God, take it away from him. Eso es un salamanca. Hablemos del chileno. Same old Hector. Just wants to kill everybody. Yay. You know, the biggest pancake is not the best pancake. This time next week, I will once again be James McGill Esquire. And I already got a jump on my new practice. Unexpected bonus of the drop phone business. It turns out it's great for client development. Sooner or later, every last one of those idiots is going to need an attorney. Of course, they all know me as Saul Goodman. What's those details? A lot of people are going to be begging for the old Yule Babineau treatment. Our powers combined. I think we should only use our powers for good. We just drove 300 miles to scam Lubbock, Texas, so that your client can have a 13% bigger bank branch. How is that using our powers for good? This whole episode is making me nervous. <laughs> I can't even speak. Like, it's fucking making me worried. Uh oh, what's up? Small problem. Red light. There may be a loose or faulty wire. I'll go in and check. Oh shit, don't do that. Come on, Kai. This seems bad. I wouldn't want to have anything to do with anything that's gonna blow up anything. I just don't trust Kai. No, I, I don't trust him as far we've as I had can no fucking reason, throw him. Yeah, we've had no reason to trust him to this point. Hell no. Nah. He's made lots of mistakes, questionable decisions. And he's got a shit attitude. Oh god. He's definitely getting blowed up. Right? Oh, I feel so bad for him. Oh no, please don't let there be anything wrong. I feel... I really like this dude. Kai can go fuck himself. I like this guy. Uh oh. What the fuck is going on? Oh, these are live, right? They can anything bad thing could happen. Oh my god, please. Oh shit. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna blow up right then. Now get the fuck out of there, dude. Oh shit! Talk about building friggin' some tenseness. I think we're ready here, Michael. What the hell was happening to him in there? He was probably having a panic attack because he 
was concerned. All green. We're good here. On the go. With a loud ass truck to cover the, Sound of the, the explosion. Three. Two. One. Now. That shit was intense as hell. Yeah. They totally filmed that shit to make it look like he was about to blow up. Totally. Fuck What in shit. the? But what was he so on edge about? Maybe something happened in his past with explosives somewhere. I need to know what's going on. This work is taking longer than I estimated. Don't bullshit Mike. He sees everything. Honestly, stop. <laughs> My wife. I can't help but wonder. No, it's impossible. You're talking about flying to Germany for a weekend. You want to see your wife? Then finish the job. When it's done, from the money you've made here, you'll never be away from your wife again. Think about it. Long term, long term, unless you think your wife is cheating on you, in which case you have a different problem. You think he was freaking out at the bomb site, worrying about not seeing her ever again? Well, that or like, oh, I, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. Is everything to your liking? No, you kidding me? This is the best chicken I have ever had. Is it possible for me to meet the owner? I am the owner. Really? How lucky for me. Dude, this guy. I fucking hate him already. What a smug asshole. <laughs> You're Gustavo Frink. I've been an admirer of yours for many years. Dude, Lalo is scary. He is scary. I'm scared. I come here on behalf of my entire family to give you our deepest thanks for saving Don Hector's life with all the history between you two. Is he really believing this shit? It was a gesture of peace. And here we are, getting along. Fuck. vez te has puesto a pensar que ese Don Eladio es un cabrón? Que tal vez le gusta esta mala leche entre nosotros. I'm just shitting you. I'm fucking terrible. You'd be crazy to go up against El Adio. I'm gonna be in town for a while, so, uh, you know, we'll talk some more. If you need a favor, I'm your man. Same. Naturally. Dude. Holy shit. Like, he's so likable. I fucking hate him. <laughs> so, you can like him all you want. I don't like him. Gary Muffer. He's got a chicken farm way out of town. Show me. Okay. Fuck no. I don't want to. You take yourself. Come poor, on. Poor Nacho. I know. He's always getting shit on. Yes. Is he going to throw this out the window? Is he going to throw it out the window? Yep. Fuckers. Fuckers. Littering. Damn it. <laughs> this guy. He's an uh, asshole, and he litters. He's got Nikki riled up. Have you been keeping yourself uh, apprised of the latest developments? I've been reading the Bar Journal. You know what caught my eye recently was Crawford v. Washington. It has to do with the admissibility of ex parte examinations. The only indicium of reliability sufficient to satisfy constitutional demands is the one the Constitution actually prescribes. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Dude, he's smart as fuck. He can do so much! Well, Mr. McGill, is there anything you'd like to tell us about the reasons you were suspended in the first place? This past year has pretty much been the only thing on my mind. And I'm humbled. Remorse doesn't begin to cover it. And what about your brother? How do you feel about that? What does the law mean to you? Ooh, the deep question. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. He wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> Becoming a lawyer was uh, the last thing on my mind. I happened to get a job with some attorneys, and I couldn't help but think, maybe I could do that? Something inside me made me want to try. When I got to work with actual clients, there was nothing else like it. Our legal system sometimes it could feel comfortable. Helping my clients, arguing on their behalf, that's the best thing I've ever done. 
That's good. All right. Okay. Okay. Have it back. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Was there any particular influence on your views? The University of American Samoa. Go land crabs. She wants him to say his, his brother. You'll be getting a letter with our decision in the next few days. All right. I mean, the dude is a magnificent salesman. Honestly. But I have a feeling his lack of empathy for his brother is going to hurt him with these people. Yeah. Oh, you're denying me? What did I do wrong? It was a question of sincerity. You're free to apply again next year. <gasps> Wow, dude, holy shit. Oh, shit. Something seems off. Yeah, it's something's weird. He's lonely. I don't know if I could be away from you for... What, six, seven months? I think they're way past that. Yeah. Why is he looking at the cameras? I'm worried he's gonna do something stupid. That parking lot looks very familiar. Insincere. Insincere. Jimmy, what happened? Oh, God. I was good, Kim. One of them out of nowhere comes up with this weird ass question. What does the law mean to you? And I nailed it. I talked about the meaning of the law, and I was down to earth, and I was humble, and I was sincere. Well, there has to be more to it than that. There's not. Chuck, dude. I don't... What did they say when you talked about Chuck? <laughs> what does Chuck have to do with this? What? Well, so you didn't even. Why would I? Dude. Seriously? Um, <laughs> I might have been a little corny, but I meant every word. I know that. You don't believe me. Of course I do. Oh, Jesus, it's right there on your face. You think I'm some kind of low life, some kind of asshole. What? Kind of lawyer guilty people hire, right? Oh, Jimmy, that's you, you not... look at me and you see slipping Jimmy. I never said that yet. Oh shit. You want to know why the committee called you insincere? Because you didn't mention Chuck. Even They've read the transcripts. They know what happened. Jimmy, they were waiting for you to say something about it. So I'm supposed to make a big hairy deal about my dead brother at my reinstatement hearing? How is that sincere? I don't miss Chuck. Chuck was alive, and now he's dead, and that's that. And he told life goes on, so sue me. There it is again. And that's why we don't have an office. What? I don't want to hear another word about that stupid office. Stupid office. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Jimmy, who comes running when you call? Who cleans up your messes? I have a job, but I drop everything for you. You confess to a felony on tape. I'm there. But somehow in your mind, the only measure of my feelings for you is, is some office? Yeah, I'm good enough to live with, to sleep with, but God forbid you should have an office with me. What are you doing? I just told you You get a little bored with your life, so you come down and roll around in the dirt. <laughs> oh. If I Back like up. lying to the ADA to get your friend out of the shitter? You'll never do that again. Maybe I won't. And maybe next time you call, I won't come. There you go. Kick him in when he's down. Jimmy, you are always down. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. You just talk shit to the wrong gal. She has been your ride or die this whole time. Legit. Oh my god. Oh, it's not over. I thought that was it. Holy shit. I don't think that's a bridge he wants to burn. That's, that's a wrong... So wrong. Oh, hell no. Get your fucking shit. Get out of my house. She wouldn't do that to him. I think she's about to. Get your shit. Get out. <laughs> is, that a, is that a suitcase? So this is how it ends. Oh my god. I messed it all up. Yeah, you did. You still want to be a lawyer? 
Well, we can start with that. See? She can't let this dude go. She can't. He talks a bunch of shit to her face and she's just like, don't want to be a lawyer? Damn it, Kim! What's going on with sex? There, what is that? Dead pixels. Wasn't there yesterday. About 20 seconds. Uh-oh. Show me the outside cameras. Did they fucking get out? They did something with the cameras to give them not a true picture of what they're seeing. Right. Shit, dude. You stupid idiot. If you're gonna break out, don't tell somebody that you really wanna go home. Ah, laser. That's what would fuck up pixels. Wow. Holy shit, dude. You are stupid. You are so stupid. That was the most immature shit ever. Which part? <laughs> you don't fucking leave a job until you're done. You need to go home and see your wife. I fucking get it, man. Everybody misses somebody, but that doesn't mean you, you have a job to do. Don't be an immature shit. And fucking leave when you think that you can leave. You can't. You have signed a contract. Finish your fucking contract. Then go about your business. God. Uh, sorry. Do what you say you are going to do. Or don't fucking talk to me. I mean, it's hard to disagree with that. <laughs> sorry. Now I'm pissed. I just... <laughs> Mike was really clear that Gus is not a guy that you want to fuck no! with. No! He's going to hunt your fucking ass down in Germany, and you're going to die, bitch! <sighs> Mike vouched for you, dude. What an episode, though. That was a, I mean, dope-ass episode. I mean, anything that get you riled up like this? The, God! That was tense. Fucking and, like, Jimmy, dude. Jimmy is so smart. But he couldn't turn it on for two minutes to mention a... <laughs> All you had to do was talk about your brother. Your older brother who was a lawyer who could have been your mentor. Just lie. Bullshit. You're really good at that. And it just... It didn't even cross his mind that he had to mention Chuck. What Credit where credit is due. You wanted to become a lawyer because of Chuck. Don't give this shit the, the U University of American Samoa bullshit. Well, not even that. That that could have been 100% true, whatever. No. But the you, idea, like... like We all know the real thing. But the fact that they all know what happened in that hearing, and they all probably connect the dots that it led to Chuck killing himself, and it's like, you don't mention your older brother once? Like, the law is like, I want to carry on the legacy of my brother. That's what it means to me at this point. Like, just bullshit something. We know that you haven't thought about him or don't think about him. But the way he fucking talked about him, holy shit. Like, oh, he was alive and now he's dead. Like, what? We know you guys had a horrible relationship, but damn. Damn. Did you care for him at all, ever? Not, I mean, yes, 100% he did. Well, no, but like... That shifted that, a lot. But that shows that... It just makes it look like you didn't give. Well, that's why you gave zero fucks about him at all ever in life. That's why it was lacking all. sincerity. Like he wasn't sincere at all to that point where it's like, what does the law mean to you? It, like I want to carry on the legacy of the McGill name. My brother passed away and did this, and I feel horrible about what happened. And regardless if you feel any of that stuff, just say it. Just say it. <laughs> Like, it seemed like such a no-brainer, obvious thing that they were looking for. I was waiting for it, to be honest, for him to say something about Chuck. Just yeah. to, like, the, get, pull the sympathy card, man. 
At least do that. Or just show remorse for like the situation. Like. But I thought he was actually gonna get his license back at that point. But I mean, I didn't, but when they said insincere, I was like, yep, because you you credited your fucking university. Thought it was brother. thought it was really obvious what they were looking for when she asked him the law question. What does the law mean to you? It's like all you had to do is be like like my older brother would say. And, like, just say stuff that Chuck used to say about the law. Like, he always, he, 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 he has so many quotes that you probably could have pulled from in terms of how much he loved and respected and just viewed the law and put it up on this pedestal that he believed in. Like, you could have just pulled one of those and be like, yeah, and honor my brother, blah, 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 blah. But, but no. don't do that. No. You pull a genuine answer. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> but... I, I am shocked that Jimmy didn't think of that going into that hearing. I mean, honestly, he loves pulling the sympathy card. Why wouldn't you pull the sympathy card now? It probably, like, his brother is so gone out of his mind that he probably didn't even think about it, obviously. And then to attack him? You fucking, you're barking up the wrong tree, dude. I was waiting for her to, like, punch him in the face or something. To be <laughs> like, honest, same. Like, like, dude, how dare you talk to me like that after all this shit that we've been through? Totally. Like, I've said it. I, I would love to actually know on record how many times I've said this. But, like, who the hell knows where Jimmy would be if it wasn't for Kim? So many moments. So many different things. And, like, obviously she's doing some shit now. I... I now, like the beginning of the episode, she was lying and bullshitting, like sprained her ankle. She had a baby and Jimmy was like her baby daddy or something like, brother. oh, brother. was it his brother? Her brother yeah. Like the the story that they pulled to, to swap out the plans because she either like just screwed up or missed something because she was or distracted. Or something to go through that didn't previously get approved. Yeah. Like regardless of what she did, like she's now in this. And I wonder, Mike, because now my brain doesn't fully trust everything that she's saying. It's like she asked him, so you want to be a lawyer? I guarantee she's going to find some kind of loophole to have him file as, as Saul, Saul Goodman. I think, I think she's going to find a way to get him a law license as Saul Goodman. Yeah, that's nice. And she's going to be, I, I feel like she's going to be the one responsible for him getting that name as a lawyer. Where does it fall apart? Because I thought I could that's be way where wrong. it fell apart. I thought that's, no, that's it. They're not going to go anywhere from here. I don't think it's, I think it's going to be something bigger. That was intense. Yep. That was really insane. Just, yeah, I don't know. Nacho and yeah. Lalo. and Lalo is a really, really interesting character. Scary. I get, <laughs> scary in a different way than Gus. Yeah. like We don't even know what he's capable of at this point. But just like going back and watching the Breaking Bad episode with, with Jimmy or Saul. And just that he was so horrified that it was potentially him that kidnapped him. And just the way that this dude carries himself. He's like... He's got so much charisma and like he smiles and he's like really well spoken and it's like, dude, you sound like a really dangerous savage. The way he was talking about that story about the husband and wife and going through the fire and getting the bell, like, dude. Because Hector fucking burned down these people's place of business. Like it just this guy, I can only imagine. I can't actually at all imagine what this dude might be p capable of, but that's the really most dangerous type of dude. Like Gus is just like that too. Yes, but in a different kind of fucking dangerous, quiet. But he could just scary. But like the the person Gus that he portrays himself out to the public is this really nice, well spoken, smart, just like very astute, like well dressed guy, and it's like you are a savage. Drug lord. <laughs> like, holy shit. Like, these dudes are phenomenal actors. They are. They're so good. It's just so insane. And, and Lalo just feels like, just like that. Super charming. Just can talk to you and you don't feel like, I mean, Nacho feels like he's just being pulled around with a friggin' leash. And he looks so annoyed. 
I don't want to do he this. He just looks... I just want to yeah. go home. I mean, I would too after seeing his pad. That was a dope pad. <laughs> but damn, I am so intrigued. We only have one episode to go before we're caught up. I have... <laughs> I, I have no idea what's going to happen. I can't wait to see how this plays out. Same. Do you have any other thoughts? No. You got emojis? Yeah. Okay, I think I have everybody represented. We have the baby bottle with milk in it for Kim in the beginning. The open. Yeah. Slipping Kim. Then we have the bell for Hector mm -hmm. and Lalo. Oh my God, annoying as shit. He was excited. I understand. You can communicate. But you have people around you that are like, can you stop? Can you stop? Hector doesn't care. He doesn't care. He just wants to kill everybody. I get it. I get it, homie. I get it. Then we have a briefcase. For Jimmy. He broke his throwing it against the wall. Kim was going to give him a nice new one when he got approved, but it didn't happen. Damn it. And then finally for Mike, we have a lock and key. Yeah. Because Werner was Werner, des yeah. destroyed the locks and got out. Laser pointed the cameras. Very I mean, smart, sneaky man. That's why he was checking genius. out the cameras. Don't do that. Just telling you, you're in big trouble, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't do that. All right, what are they? Baby bottle, bell, briefcase, locking key. All right, y'all. There are the emojis for this episode. One more to go. Holy shit. Leave the emojis down in the comments below and share your thoughts. As always, like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. We'll see y'all later. Hit the bell. See? Hit the bell. Get it? Hit the bell. I got it. All right. Bye.